Hello everyone, it is Lisa and I'm here with your weekly oracle card reading for the week of Monday, March the 25th through to Sunday, March the 31st. So here we are, the last week of March already. Well, that month just flew by. I hope everyone's doing alright and I hope everyone felt strongly the presence of Archangel Raphael with them last week, guiding them to make helpful um, changes in their life and of course those changes bring about positive um, results in your life as well as a new level of healing. So this week we're going to get right to it. I was again guided to Archangel Raphael's deck by Dorian Virtue as well, our uh, Angel Therapy by Dorian Virtue. Our Power Animal, Dr. Stephen Farmer, our Crystal Card, Tony Carmine Salerno, and another um, Doreen Deck, Archangel Michael. So we're just going to get to it. I've asked to, that I be a clear and pure channel to bring messages through um, from the Divine that are meant to serve the greater and higher good of all who would, will be guided to watch this weekly message. And of course, the greater and higher good of all humanity. It starts one beautiful healing heart at a time. So for those who are interested, uh, this week there is the full moon group healing taking place Wednesday. I still have seven spots left in that. And your way in is a minimum $33 donation, which includes a full uh, length voice recording of the entire session as well as um, at some point between the full and the new moon you will receive a um, private video message just for you and of course any other things that I'm guided to share along the way uh, with respect to grids crystals that we should be working with um, and various channeled messages so let's get right to this we're going to start with our Archangel Raphael card and it's home help and what I'm feeling here strongly is that many of us are feeling overwhelmed by the number of responsibilities we have. So we have responsibilities at home, we have work responsibilities, we have uh, responsibilities with our parents and oh my gosh that feels just like a lot of responsibility. So what I'm feeling is that there's a great need for many of us to ask for the help around the house that we need from the other members of our family, from the other members or the other people who live in our home. And many people don't do that, right? We, we um, instead, we conjure up in our heads what we feel other people should be doing. We don't ask. And so what do you think happens there? Well, let me tell you, we, it breeds this environment of resentment right because we feel they should know what we need and they feel we should know what they need and blah 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 it just goes on so it's time to start communicating again it's time to sp start voicing your needs and not doing it uh, you know and again I feel like a broken record um, it's not doing it in a harsh and judgmental way it's simply stating your truth from your heart center and allowing yourself to speak those words and the prayer on this card says, um, and I also feel that in, um, I'm just being guided to this horse, and I'm also feeling, and notice that uh, Archangel Raphael has a shield here as well, and what looks to be, it's not a sword, it looks to be, so very much an Archangel Michael feel as well with him, which is interesting, because we have an Archangel Michael card as well. But what I'm hearing with the horse is that as we begin to speak our truth, as we begin to ask for the help we need, whether it's from the players in our life, the people in our life, or from our, our angelic team, the angelic realms, we experience a newfound freedom. And it almost, I just feel as if some weight has been lifted from my heart because, you know, resentment and expectations and judgment and criticism weighs very heavy on our hearts. Um, so it's really time that we began to release that heaviness around our hearts and ask for the help we need. And you know what? We might be surprised at how willing people are to help us. The message or the prayer on this card says, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept help from you 
the angels and others in matters regarding my family and home. So I'm also feeling if you're concerned about, you know, somebody in your family or if you're concerned about some issues in and around the home, it's time to begin to pray. Archangel Michael card for the week. Energy healing work. Beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful card to get. Okay, so for many people, um, energy healing is a really, really important step on our path because, um, and, and people often ask me, so you're an energy worker, what does that mean? And I'm merely a channel and we all have the ability to self-heal. We all have, I mean, my very first spiritual book I ever read really was You Can Heal Your Life about 20, 20 odd years ago. And I still, uh, <laughs> it's not here, or I'd show you, but it, I mean, it's broken down the spine and um, I still refer to that book on a fairly regular basis because I, I think the truth and the wisdom contained within that book are truly revolutionary, peaceful re revolutionary. And so energy healing work is really important um, and it begins with, um, we can just do things like this, rubbing our hands together and placing them wherever we're guided. Okay, there's no right or wrong way. This is also speaking to me that many of you are not sure what your next step is and what your next step is is to have some energy work done and begin to feel the effects of working with energy. So when I'm channeling energy, it's not my energy I'm channeling, it's energy from the light realms. So whoever's present, sometimes it's from the angelic realm, other times it's astral realms and um, intergalactic energies. I mean, I don't question it and I don't really speak too much about it because it is what it is. It's energy coming in. I am a clear channel for that. And at the same time, um, this is an interesting thing. Many people who come for readings and work are expecting, they come with an expectation that they're going to hear a certain message. And as many of you who have worked with me know, that is not often the case. And chances are, if you're guided to work with me, you're going to, you know, you're going to encounter a little bit of tough love stuff um, because we're guided to those who are meant to serve our greatest and highest good. And my guides have always had to work very tough lovish with me. And in turn, a lot of the messages that come through for the people I'm working for is a little bit tough love in a very gentle way, of course, <laughs> in the most well-intended way. Um, so energy healing work begins to move energy through our body. Blocks, it helps us to release things that have been blocked. And, um, you know, this is a beautiful card to get on the week of the full moon group healing. And it's also a beautiful card to get on the week of my last... Um, the last week of the monthly uh, energy special, which is a chakra balancing and clearing. So it's time to get to work, everyone, and whatever that means for you, um, this is time. Don't delay. Don't delay because many of you already know the answers within your heart, those answers you seek, and yet you're still spending time seeking outside of yourself for the truth which resides within. It says on here, thank you for sending me healing energy. Um, thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me, for my own blessings and for those around me. Thank you for connecting me with loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. So if you're guided to work with someone, that's a pretty strong indication that that person it can um, help you um, gain new understanding, can help you to begin to heal your physical and emotional and spiritual bodies, okay? <laughs> and here we go. This is from the Angel Therapy deck, and it is Heart Chakra. So this is still a week of heart healing. There's still a lot of healing going on, folks. And um, as we do see, it says the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving of love. So this is a strong message that this is still an, another healing week. Um, and, you know, I think it's important to note healing takes as long as it takes. And it's not for us to question or, you know, um, feel like we should be somewhere other than where we are right now. Because where we are is where we're meant to sit. This is a week for healing your beautiful heart. Um, 
and, and doing that by asking for help, beginning to ask for help, um, getting some energy work done, and a, most important, honoring and listening to the messages that you're, are within you. Yeah, that's all I'm being guided to say. Our power animal of the week is lion. <laughs> oh, I love it. Courage. Ask for what you want. Okay, here we go again. So this is a strong, strong message. Seriously, um, it's like a kick in your butt message. And this is what I mean about my guides. It's like, you know, they'll get the message across however they can. And it's funny because I posted something on my page yesterday that had the image of a lion in it. And it was a beautiful, um, a beautiful piece of writing and I really resonated with so we're being asked to courageously walk forward and being courageous um, you know oftentimes on this path we are we are required to take great um, steps forward courageously because it feels like maybe we're alone and um, we're never ever alone and so this week lion walks with us and he's asking us to ask for what we want and ask for the help we want ask for the healing that we want ask for the forgiveness that we want ask for the whatever it is that you're desiring there is a process ask and give thanks as if you've already received it and so it is it will be yours okay and our crystal of the week oh ruby okay and again, this feels to me, I, I don't um, know a whole heck of a lot about rubies. Um, this feels to me very much like healing in and around the home, the root chakra. And I'm just, this, I'm just getting that simply from the color, the root chakra. It also speaks to me as, as we heal our hearts, as we ask for the help we want, we begin to follow our passion the passion that resides within our heart. So what is it you're passionate about? What is it that you really want to do, be, and achieve in life? Heal, do your healing work, get yourself grounded and centered in your physical reality, in your home, and then go and follow the passion within your heart because that will lead you to um, the happiness that you seek. Okay, and not that it'll lead you to it, because happiness is an inside job and it's a choice. And yet, as we do our work, as we heal in and around our home, as we're brave and courageous, and as we do energy work and release and let go of things, then we're able to clearly listen with the ears of our heart to follow and be brave enough to follow where our heart is leading us because this is the trick because many people go oh no 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 I don't want to go there I had an idea that I was going to go over here and so this is probably the biggest block to developing our own intuition that exists is our doubt <laughs> so do not doubt this week um, ask for the help you need have some energy work done. Begin to work with energy yourself, self-healing, and trust that as you're doing this, you are indeed um, channeling healing and you're facilitating healing in your own life so that you can live the happy, joyful, peaceful, love-filled life that is your birthright. So I'm sending you lots of love, light, and gratitude here from... Um, Ajax, Ontario, Canada, to wherever you reside on this beautiful planet we call home. Sending you lots of love, light, and gratitude. Namaste.